Setting up your test tubes for the Benedict's Biuret or Iodine test is very simple. You just need a wax pencil, a ruler, and your test tube. Now, I like to put it on a paper towel sometimes so I can see the numbers better, but that's not necessary. So you take your test tube, approximately line up the end with the end of the ruler, look on the metric side and mark it two centimeters, then mark it four centimeters, a number or a label however you've been told, and then that's your test tube set up. So if you need a test tube with two centimeters and four centimeters marked, there you have it. If you need one with just two centimeters marked, obviously you just mark it at the two centimeter part. A trick to quickly labeling all your test tubes is to then take the one that you've labeled and line it up with other ones. Now you have to be careful your test tubes don't roll off the bench, but I'm gonna take the test tubes I have and let's say I'll do, I need 10 of them. So, um, here are, here's some, so I have 10 total. So I'm gonna take a subset of those that I can line up easily, line those up at the bottom. I'm gonna look where my mark was from before. Uh, let me show you. There we go. So I'm lining all of them up, just using my hand. They don't have to be perfect. Look at where my mark was. I'm gonna mark across. So all of them are approximately two, and then I'm gonna mark where the four was. And then I still have a few left to get to my 10. So I could put these back in my test tube rack now so they don't roll off. I'm going to take the rest of them, line those up, mark at the two approximately, mark at the four. Great. So now I have my 10 test tubes that are marked at two centimeters and four centimeters. Stick those in my test tube rack. I need some marked at two centimeters only. Um, so I could take, you know, the one I actually already measured, or I'll just show you again about measuring. So let me get my ruler off. All right, so again, I'm just gonna line it up and I'm gonna go up. Um, okay, so again, I'm gonna line it up-ish with the end. I'm just need to mark two centimeters on these. I need five of these total, so I'll bring my other ones in. Okay, I'm gonna line those up at the end. Mark the two. I'm just following that line across from where I did it on the first one. And then I'll take those and put them in my test tube rack. So there's my five marked at two centimeters only. And then I'll just need to number them. And so in the end, you'll have, I'll show you this, let me number them. So I'm gonna number two of the ones that are marked twice, number one and one of the one that's marked once for number one. So in the end, you'll have this scenario here. So I have one number one with two, a second number one with two, and one number one with a single mark on it. And then I did that one through five, one through five, one through five. So that's the example, that's how you test tube setup. Then you go through and like for test solution number one, all the ones numbered number one, I just put three milliliters of test solutions in there, which is the two centimeters. And then what you'll do on, uh, you'll do the same for uh, number two, although for that one there are different solutions. Three is all the same, four is the same, five is the same. And then you're gonna do one test on each. So you'll do one test on your number two, one test on the second two, and the other test here. So we've got Benedict's test, Biorette test, iodine test.